Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two very easy questions for you. This is beginning level of genetics and as usual I recommend you to pause video here, try to answer each question and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. Consider an autosomal dominant trait if an affected parent and affected uh, heterozygous parent are expecting what is the chances of them having an unaffected child? So we know that this is dominant um, genetic disorder. So I would use capital A to designate a defective allele. And normal allele would be small a. We know that uh, one parent is heterozygous. So one parent is heterozygous. And another one is normal. So both alleles are small a. When we build a Punnett square we can predict what is the frequencies of different genotypes possible uh, in this family. So capital A and small a here, small a, small a here, capital A and small a here, and small a, small a here. As you see 50% of the progeny would have this genetic disorder and 50% would be phenotypically normal. So our question, what uh, is the chance that this family would have an affected uh, child? And as you see, chances are 50%. And next question, two phenotypically normal individuals have an affected child, what can uh, we conclude about the parents? And two phenotypically normal parents may have um, genetically affected child if both parents would be uh, carriers. So phenotypically would be normal and genetic disorder have to be recessive. In this case uh, we would be able to see the following picture when we have two normal parents, but both would be carriers, this time this recessive allele means a defective uh, gene. And if we have two normal genes or one normal allele and one defective allele, phenotype would be normal. But when we have two defective alleles, that means that uh, this genotype would produce genetic disorder, but uh, parents would be phenotypically normal, and the three genotypes here also would be phenotypically normal. So our answer, uh, answer A, they both carry the disease allele, and this is true. And other answers, they are not the parents of the child, this is also can be an issue, but very unlikely that such an event in modern hospital may happen. Much more probable that both parents carried this disease in um, heterozygous form and would be carriers. So uh, this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.